cell division during gamete formation cell division during gamete formation whether the parent is haploid or diploid gametes are always haploid in condition that is they possess only one set of chromosomes gametes are always haploid in condition and haploid parent produces gamete by mitotic division haploid parent produces gametes by mitotic division example monira fungi algae and bryophytes and bryophytes next whereas diploid parent produces gametes either by mitosis or meiosis diploid parent produces gametes either by mitosis or meiosis either mitosis or meiosis example peridophytes peridophytes gymnosperms angiosperms gymnosperms angiosperms and most of the animals gymnosperms angiosperms and most of the animals and the number of chromosomes are different when it comes to different types of organisms and next gamete transfer after their formation male and female gametes are brought together physically to facilitate fertilization in some algae and fungi both gametes are motile and attract each other in some algae and fungi both the gametes are both the gametes are motile and attract each other and attract each other in several simple plants like algae bryophytes and pteridophytes water is the medium through which the gametes transfer takes place this is what we can say zoidogamy zoidogamy gametes are transferred through water through water example bryophytes and pteridophytes bryophytes and pteridophytes a large number of male gametes however fail to reach the female gametes to compensate this loss of male gametes during transport large number of male gametes are produced
during zoodogamy condition when it comes to seed plants pollen grains carry male gametes to fertilize the eggs in seed plants in seed plants pollen grains carry male gametes pollen grains carry male gametes to fertilize the egg to fertilize the egg cell and the pollen grains produced in anthers and are transported to the stigma by the process of pollination by the process of pollination and basically this pollination is of two types self and cross pollination and the details about self and cross pollination will be discussed in the coming chapter and when it comes to pollen grains germinate over the stigma and produce pollen tubes pollen tubes carry the male gametes to the ovules and burst open to release male gametes near the female gamete or egg